really excited about this study because uh, what we did was we tested um, several conditions, factors in the indoor environment, and how they relate to cognitive function performance of workers in office buildings. We asked people to come in, do their normal work routine, but from the floor below, we were able to modify the indoor environment. Uh, and at the end of the day, we asked them to take a cognitive uh, performance test. The way the system works is it immerses people in different real-world scenarios. There are many scenarios and they're variously designed to evaluate just basic decision-making, leadership competencies, and so on. For example, you could be made a mayor of a town and there are things happening in the town, there are different mini crises and then a major crisis and it's your task or the participant's task to actually take care of all the happenings in the town and um, evaluate the crisis situations and this really does replicate people's day-to-day -day worlds and that's what the simulation scenarios have been validated to do. The study design is very strong. It enabled us to see the effect if it existed and it turns out we see a strong effect. And so overall we found a, uh, a doubling in cognitive performance scores for people in the enhanced indoor environment versus the conventional and three particular cognitive function domains uh, jumped out. That was strategy, information usage and crisis response in the uh, in optimized indoor environment. For the average person, this simply means the indoor environment is important. We spend 90% of our time indoors. It's logical that this has an outsized impact on our overall health and well-being. And what our study showed is that even minor improvements in indoor environmental quality can have big impacts.